Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Northern Michigan Dynasty. Here we are to really officially kick off this series. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the introductory episode. We're going to get a little bit more introduction here as we introduce you to the coordinators to start this off. Robert Wilson Jr. will be our offensive coordinator. He was a legend in my Villanova dynasty, which was the very first video dynasty I ever did here on the channel. And then Dave Zimmerman, defensive coordinator. He is out of Ohio State, and he was a big-time corner in the Washington franchise on Madden 20. So there you see him. I am the head coach, FG. And let's meet this team. Alejandro Klink II. He is a channel member. My man, Mr. T. Clizzle. The Pimpizzle, he is the quarterback on this roster. So, true freshman. Obviously, he's going to have a lot to prove. His backup, Josh Allen, the 10th or 11th. I don't know. I'm terrible with Roman numerals. Baza Beatson is our running back, the six foot two, 215 215-pound freshman. Another channel member by the name of Raider Bear. Thank you to all the channel members. You guys, really great support. I can't thank you all enough. Baza Beatson. Heck of a running back. He is one of our best players on our entire roster. So we are going to have to utilize him to his top capacity, but his backup will be Lil Dino. There we go. The walk on Lil Dino will get his opportunities here and there when Baza Beatson is tired. Hopefully, he can make a couple of plays. Plays will be few and far between by these walk ons, as you guys tend to know how my editing style is. It's a lot more condensed. Not really showing every single play in a football game. Our fullback is Will Blanford, another walk-on true freshman. Another true freshman, Christoph Hornsby. He was recruited here out of Pequa, Ohio. And that is another channel member by the name of Husker Ninja. An absolute crazy supporter both here and on Twitch. So big shout out to him. Kendall Bedgood is our Juco Jr. receiver. Now, he's a pretty good player, but he's a junior, so he's only going to have two seasons to prove himself. Then there's Calvin Mentor, another channel member, and he's the one with the wheels. Out of Akron, Ohio, 96 speed. This guy was recruited in here, and he hopefully will make a huge impact. That kind of speed on a 6'6 receiver is going to be something else. We are really looking forward to what he does. Then we have Jace Fye. There he is, uh, freshman, six foot one, 182. So a relative walk on, but a 67 overall, one of the better ones we were able to uh, bring into the program here. So we'll see how he does. Another one, Brewski. Now he was a former channel member, but Brewski is my man V Dub Productions. Love that guy. He is a long, long, long subscriber on the channel. So he got a better player there than some. Rigo Berto Ramirez Jr. is my man, Mr. Rigo. He has been a channel member for a few months as well. He will be our starting tight end, and he's going to be a weapon for us for sure, as you can take a look at his ratings here. The catching doesn't seem too tremendous, but the blocking and the catching is pretty much about even, so he should be able to make some plays out there. He's definitely going to get used a lot. I love using my tight ends. The offensive line is going to leave a lot to be desired in this program. Obviously, the left side of the line, you, we don't even have any right guards. Uh, our best tackle is a transfer, so he's not going to be able to play. Hannibal Marbles will start off the defensive side of the ball. He's a 68 overall. That's my man, Walty Snowman. He is another really long-time subscriber here on the channel. So that's why some of them got better players than some of the walk-ons. Here's TNJ, and that is a channel member, of course, and he's also a pretty big YouTuber. You might have heard of him. So TNJ, one of our highest profile channel members on the team. Then we have Scrap Trap. He will definitely be rotating in both sides, left and, de and right defensive end. He will definitely get his opportunities to make some plays. He's a hell of a tackler. Pretty even on everything else, but nothing too great. Then we have left outside linebacker Ben Van Guten, another 69 overall, a six foot one, 230 pound linebacker. That's one of you from the comments section. So you got lucky with a pretty good player here, Ben Van Guten. Then we have Kaz Cray, another high profile channel member here. He is a guy with over 1,500 subscribers here on YouTube. Go check him out, Kaz Cray Gaming. Another guy making some sports content. So he will be our middle linebacker. And then Jeremy CJ 
a Juco junior, but not a very good one, will be our starting right outside linebacker. We're definitely looking to replace him. He's got some speed, but that is about it. He really doesn't play well on defense. Aaron Coe is the leader of this defense, maybe team overall from Columbus, Ohio. He's been here a while on this team. He's part of the national championship team from last year in D2. Then we have Cornelius Jenkins. That's my man Hobart. And he has been a really long time subscriber of this channel. So definitely wanted to show him some love. He's a mod here as well as Twitch. Definitely had to show him some love. Then we have Sav Rambo. My man Rambo is going to be our slot corner with 89 speed, 86 excel, 85 agility. I think he can get it done. And we have the walk-on freshman, Mr. CF Flyer. He is coming out of Hawaii. He is a walk-on freshman, and he's got some good jump. Stanima's good. He might get hurt, though. You never know. Then we have my man Raiden, who has Richard Lutz, the free safety. He has been such a heavy supporter over on Twitch, becoming a mod really quick. He's a big supporter over here on YouTube. He watches a lot of our videos. So we show him some love. Then my man Aqua Ninja Nate gets the Juco Junior Strong Safety Levi Frost. He's got some speed to him, but he is dumb as a rock. At least he can tackle, though. He'll have to make a lot of plays. Christian Klump will be our kicker. He is our freshman kicker. Only a 61 overall. It's going to be tough to make kicks with him. Our punter is a very high-profile YouTuber, Mr. Nitro Drive. That is Jacquez Nitrus. He will be our punter. And now that you've met the team, we have to start our season at the big house. This is not going to be easy. Welcome to the big house, Michigan Stadium, as the Michigan Wolverines will play host to our Northern Michigan Wildcats. And I don't think we're ready for this matchup. I can be perfectly honest with you as we get down to the field where Baza beats it. Runs the football for a four-yard gain. It's good to see that we can even run the ball with this offensive line. Here's Alejandro Clink with a short pass. It goes to Rigoberto Ramirez for a gain of six. So it's good to see. Like I said, I was going to utilize that tight end. Here's Alejandro Clink. He is rolling to the right, and he will find Rigoberto again. Look at this man just shrugging dudes off. He said, get off me, ho. As Rigo picks up a big first down. Here's third and 12, and that one is incomplete. Alejandro Clink not able to make that connection. They're going to go for it here on 4th and 12. Clink going to throw, and that one's nearly intercepted. Probably should have been picked. It really wasn't thrown in the spot. It should be. Michigan takes over. They get all the way down the field. Here's Cade McNamara. He's going to throw it up the middle to Wilson. And Roman Wilson for 25 yards from McNamara. That gives Michigan a 7-zip lead. Here's Brewski. Nice little spin and a first down pickup with a gain of 7. So Brewski making a big play. Now on third and two, Baza Beatson is stuffed in the backfield. Look at the defense just come in and attack. David Ojabo on the tackle. NMU doesn't even care. Fourth and three, we're going for it. Here's Alejandro Clink going to throw this one to Jace Fye, and that is a big-time 11-yard reception. Nice job after the catch as well. Here's Alejandro Clink. He's going to throw right side. He's got Kendall Bedgood. Breaks a tackle. Kendall Bedgood will get inside the 15-yard line with a 37-yard catch. Now third and four. Here's Clink. He's going to go to the back corner of the end zone, and Rigo can't connect with Rigo Berto on that one, so it will be a field goal attempt. And as you can see, a glitch in the system as that kick nowhere near where it needs to be. So a missed field goal on what should be a chip shot for most. Miami ends up beating Nebraska, and that is your studio update. Here's Cade McNamara throwing left side. He's got Baldwin and Baldwin, Dalen Baldwin for 26 yards. That's how the first quarter would end. We get into the second quarter. McNamara going to toss this one to Corum. Corum breaks a tackle, spins away, and Corum inside the five. He will break the last tackle attempt from Cox. He just couldn't get it done there. Now, 14 nothing is the lead. Here's Alejandro Clink. He finds Chase Fye, and Fye is making some plays today. That one goes for 20 yards. Here's Alejandro Clink again. And he's under some heavy pressure. He will go down, and it will lead to a second and 20. 
Here on second and 20, here's Klink throwing up the middle. He's got Calvin Mentor, and Mentor for 19. Leaves a third and one. They're going to give it to Beatson. Baza Beatson will pick it up. First down with a four-yard carry. Hey, it's only a 14-0 ball game. This one's going pretty well for NMU. Here's a throw from Klink to Kendall Bedgood. What a grab. He mossed him right over the top of his shoulder. Now with 3.09 to go in the first half, Clank looking, and he is intercepted. Hill Green makes a great interception there, and he starts going the other way. Scrap Trap will bring him down. I think Scrap Trap was playing some offensive line there. Here goes Corum to the right side. He outruns everybody on the D-line, breaks a tackle there like it's absolutely nothing, and he will waltz into the end zone with a very easy Michigan Wolverine touchdown. Alejandro Clink going to roll to his right. He's got a wide open Brewski. Brewski down the sideline inside the 10 25 touchdown as Brewski goes for 65 for the first NMU score of the season. 21 7 is your score, 126 to go. Here's Wilson on the kick return. Look at this bobbing and weaving, breaking a two tackles at once. Nitrous couldn't make the tackle. CF Flyer giving chase. It's not going to happen. Roman Wilson with a 95-yard kick return. And Michigan goes up 28-7. Here's Alejandro Klink. He's going to throw right side. He's got Rigo Berto Ramirez, who breaks more tackles. He will go inside the 30 to the 25. Rigo is hard to bring down. Here's a field goal attempt. Can Christian Klump make this? It barely sneaks in. We got a 28-10 game. Three seconds to go in the half. Third and two. Cade McNamara looking to load up. He does inside the 10. It's caught by Sarn still. What a play. I don't know how to say his name. I said Sarn Steele. Correct me in the comments. I know you're going to anyways. A 35-10 Michigan lead at the half. Looking pretty bad for NMU. This is, was a 14-0 game. It's gotten way worse. Here we go, opening up this third quarter. Wilson on the kick return. He's already done some damage in this game, and Jeremy CJ's gonna be flattened to the ground like a baby doll. That one is gonna go for a touchdown to open up the half. Here's Clink. He's gonna throw right side into traffic, and that one's nearly intercepted. It will lead to a fourth and 10. NMU will punt. Here's Jack Nitrous on the punt. This one's short right at midfield. Wilson will take it from midfield. He will cut to the left. He's cutting up the middle, and he is whacked at around the 30-yard line. That would lead to this Michigan field goal, which would be good. 45-10 is their lead. Second and four. Here's Baza Beats and breaking a tackle, and he will go up the middle for quite a bit here. He is just floating over bodies doing the surf. 29 yards for Baza beats it. Here's a second and four, throwing this one to Christoph Hornsby. That one connects for a gain of 15 for Klink. Now Klink the second. Here he is, third and two. He's going to roll to his right, and he's going to take off, and he will pick up the first down with a gain of four. Tough running for Alejandro Klink the second. Three runs for three on the ball game. Now three minutes to go, third quarter. Clink looking out of the backfield. It's Baza Beatson trying to run over some defenders, and he is absolutely flattened at about the two. A 13-yard catch, though, for Baza Beatson. Now in the game, here's Alejandro Clink going to throw right side. Rigo Berto Ramirez will get the touchdown. It's a miracle that NMU has scored 17 points in this ballgame, but they have. 45-17 the score. Here's Corum. Given the counter play, and it is wide open for him. He will pick up an easy 30 yards. Blake Corum is killing this defense all day long today. Here's McNamara. He's got nothing but time in the backfield, and he will find all, Eric All, for the 10 yard touchdown. I wonder if his parents own the laundry detergent. Here's 52 to 17. Clink underneath the Hornsby. Hornsby after the catch. What a move on the spin move. He is just brought down by his legs. That's the end of the third quarter. 52 to 17. The score in this one. How bad can it get? Let me know in the comments section below. Here we go. Into the fourth quarter. Third and 17 for Alejandro Clink. He's throwing into traffic, and that one for Brewski is not going to be caught. But Clink not having a horrible game. He probably threw a couple more intercepted passes. 
uh, if we're being real. But, hey, there's Jace Fye making a catch. It's not going to go for a first down, though. That's going to go for a turnover. And instead, here's Corum. Ooh, look at Lutz just laying the wood down. Love to see it. A 52-17 game. They're going to give this one to Edwards. Edwards has the speed on the outside. Co can't get there. And it will be a touchdown for Donovan Edwards. 34 yards. No need for the starters to be in the ball game here for Michigan. A third in inches, and Baza beats and is beat down in the backfield, leaving a fourth and one by Christopher Hinton. Now they're going to give it to Lil Dino, and he can't go anywhere, so a turnover on downs again. Lots of those today for NMU. Here's McNamara out of bounds. That one was just flung quickly. He's only 7 of 14 on the ball game. They would take a field goal, though, make it 62-17. Here's a throw up the middle for Mentor. And he will catch it. Eight-yard gain for Calvin Mentor. Fourth and two, though. Here's Kling. Looking, throwing into traffic. That one probably could have been picked as well. His stat line looks way better than it could today. But another turnover on down. As, and you know what? Michigan could just kneel the ball here. But why not give it to Blake Gorham so you can put up 69 points on this Northern Michigan team? Nice, but not so nice. 69-17, that is a score that Northern Michigan will remember for a while as they will be playing Michigan for, I believe, the next three seasons after this one. There is a contract for them to play them the first four seasons. So Michigan will be on the schedule next year. Northern Michigan will remember what went down here today. 23 out of 37 for 353, two touchdowns and a pick, but let's be real, he probably should have had another three. Baza beats in for 77 yards today. Rigo Berto and Bruski coming through with 72 yards apiece and a touchdown. Bedgood did his thing. Fi did his thing. So did Mentor and Hornsby. Baza beats and even had some catches coming out of the backfield. Defensively, Aaron Coe did lead in tackles. We didn't get a single sack or interception or force fumble. Well, we did get one force fumble by Coe, but nobody was there to make the recovery. Let's take a look at the top 25 scores as Ole Miss beats down Boise State. Iowa takes care of Ball State. Bama over Vandy. Oklahoma over Tennessee. Ohio State over Cincinnati in an in-state rivalry there. Uh, North Carolina over Notre Dame. Notre Lame. Miami beat Nebraska. Auburn over K-State. Florida wins. Texas A&M. UCF. Utah over Rutgers. That'll be our next opponent, which we'll get to in a little bit. Oregon barely beats Wyoming. Oregon State over Hawaii. Over in our MAC conference, we, of course, lose. Buffalo will lose to Army. Ohio beats Kentucky. There's a surprising win right there. Bowling Green goes down to Wisconsin. Akron beat the crap out of Penn State. I would not have expected that. But we will be playing number eight Utah in the very next episode. They are, of course, going to be a better team than us. And Corso, of course, is going to go with them. It is a top 10 team in the nation. But what makes them so good, though? We have the number three passing offense in the entire country right now, the way Clink has played in that first game against Michigan. Hopefully that can lead us in this ball game. You can see 353 yards. He is our leader. For them, they have Cameron Rising, who had 520 yards, five touchdowns. That's him in two games, though, as Utah has played two already. Hopefully you guys are ready to join us for that next episode. Let me know what you think of the team in the comment section below. This is going to be a long rebuild. There's plenty more content for you to watch right here. Take care. I feel you face